Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today we will see standard 6th and subject social science in that chapter number 7 and chapter name is Gupta age and other rulers. In the previous video part 3 we have seen main 5. Today we will see main 6. Give the historical reasons of the following statements. Number 1. Samudra Gupta was a great conqueror. Answer is Samudra Gupta in a very short time established his power through trumpet journey over most of the state on of northern India to the Kushan rule of Afghanistan. Besides this, he won about 12 states of South India. Thus, it can be said that Samudra Gupta was a great conqueror. Now see the question number 2. Samudra Gupta was a lover of literature and music. Answer is, Samudra Gupta always wished to be in the company of scholars and scholars wanted companionship with him. He composed many poems. He got the title of Kaviraj. Thus, it can be said that he was a lover of literature. Samudra Gupta is seen playing the veena on his coins. Thus, we can say that he was a lover of music. See the question number 3. Chandragupta II, Vikramaditya, was a brave king and lover of literature. Answer is, Chandragupta II was a victorious king. He defeated the Sakas of West India and adopted the title of Sakari. Thus, we can say that he was a brave king. Famous scholars like the great poet Kalidas, scientist Varamihir, Royal Vaidya Dhanvantari, Vital Bhat, Amar Singh, etc. Adorned his court, he was a patron of scholars and poets. Thus, we can say that he was a lover of literature. Now we will see the main seven. Answer the following question. In that, question number one. Why is the Gupta age called the golden age of the Indian history? Or, give reason, Gupta age was the golden age of Indian history. Now see the answer. During the Gupta age, political entity, peace and security were established. Trade and industry flourished. The people were happy and prosperous. There were able writers in Sanskrit literature, scientists and mathematicians. During this age, there was an unprecedented growth in the field of fine arts. Many scientific inventions took place during this age. At this time, temple architecture developed in India. In this way, there was phenomenal growth in every field during the Gupta age. Thus, Gupta age is called the golden age of Indian history. Now see the question number 2. What were the achievements of the Gupta age in the field of science? Answer is, there were great scientists and mathematicians during the Gupta period. The mathematician Aryabhatta made revolutionary discovery of decimal system and the concept of zero. The great scientist Varamihir wrote a famous text of astronomy named Brihad Sanhita. The Vedic Sastri Vagabhatta wrote a text named Astangridai Sanhita in the field of Ayurveda. The iron pillar of Mehroli near Delhi, constructed by Emperor Chandragupta II, is the best example of the achievement of the metallurgy in the chemistry of the Gupta age. This pillar has not corroded or rusted even after many years. Here, your chapter is completed and we will see the next chapter in the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy. Okay, bye.